Um, today, as I kind of alluded to the last time, I'm going to talk about um, more specifically on why camping at Point Beach is a bargain and a good deal. So, as you can see here, I've got my tent, I've got my fire started. We're all ready to start talking about some camping. So, um, now, the best deal in Wisconsin camping is definitely a state park. And if you have to pick a state park, Point Beach is wonderful. We talked a little bit about it last time, about the lighthouses and everything else. And now I'm gonna go more into camping and why you should camp there. You're going to leave here thinking, okay, forget camping at Grandma's house, forget camping in Fond du Lac. I'm gonna camp at Point Beach. Um, I'm gonna start by talking about the cost of camping. At each of the places, I'm gonna talk about the campsites themselves. I'm gonna talk about the swimming facilities and um, opportunities for nature. That's really important, especially to my kids because they can, I can sit around the campfire and they can go exploring and things like that. And I'm also gonna talk about other amenities. Um, I'm gonna be talking about three places. I'm gonna be talking about, again, Point Beach. I'm gonna be talking about Fond du Lac Eden KOA, which is a commercial, private campground, and I'm going to be talking about another place we often camp, Grandma's House. Okay, first of all, let's start with the cost of camping. Well, at Grandma's House, there's no cost, and it's lots of fun, so. Um, oh, by the way, Mr. Luke, this is my in-law, so this is Grandma's House right here, as you can see, so you will see what I'm talking about. Um, first of all, the cost of camping at Fond du Lac is for a non-electric site is $65. For an electric site, it's $86. Now you compare that to Point Beach, the state park, and this is, goes for most state parks. Camping with no electric is only $40. So that's a difference of $15 just for non-electric sites. And for electric sites, well, it goes up $10 at the state park, so it's $50. Whereas with Fond du Lac, at the KOA, it's $86. So there's a jump of $36. Now, what do you get for your money, though? That's that's really what it comes down to, right? Um, first of all, you know, Fond du Lac, KOA, it's set up as a traditional private camp um, where there's a couple trees here and there, you know, they have a swimming pool, that kind of thing. But there's not much privacy. You have, you know, they're trying to make as much money as they can, so they have as many people getting in each place as they can. In the state park, you have privacy. You have a wooded area. You know, it's specifically Point Beach. I've been there many, many times camping. It is our favorite Father's Day destination when it comes to camping. You have um, you have a wooded site all the way around. Again, the kids can explore and have a little privacy. Now, at Grandma's house, well, you can see my tent doesn't have much privacy, but that's okay, because everybody wants to spend time with the kids and the kids, so that's all right. Um, for swimming facilities, at Fond du Lac, there's a swimming pool you know, just an in-ground swimming pool, and a hot tub. At Point Beach, there's a groomed beach of six miles, six miles of beach. You know, now, not all of it is groomed. You've got some natural areas. You've got the dunes and things like that, but you've got the groomed air, the groomed beach area with the pavilion where you can get snacks and that. Um, and you also have a natural wave pool caused by Lake Michigan. So you don't have to go to, you don't have to go down to Wisconsin Dells for a wave pool, you have a wave pool, and it sounds wonderful, and it's very peaceful. The kids love it. You give them a bucket on the beach, they're good to go. You know, and at Grandma's house, we've got a sandbox and a four-foot pool, which is great for the adults, too, because the kids can go swimming, and you don't have to worry about them drowning, and you can sit by the campfire and have a couple drinks. Now, for nature pro opportunities, for Fond du Lac, it's near Lake Winnebago, but it's not on Lake Winnebago. Um, so you, there is fishing and things like that, but you have to leave the campground to do it. Um, there's hiking in the area. There's Horicon Marsh and um, a couple different, there's the Ice Age Trail. So again, you have to leave the area and go to the beginning of these um, hiking areas. Um, there's a petting zoo, which I thought was pretty neat. You know, there's like donkeys and llamas and things like that. But around here, that's not really nature. So, you know, it's nice to see. But at Point Beach, you, again, you have six miles of beach shoreline. You're going to see birds going everywhere. You know, you're going to hear the birds. You're going to, you know, I just, I, you're going to see little sand crabs and whatever else. So you have five trails. We've talked about that in the last beach. And you have deer, 
chipmunk squirrels and rabbits everywhere. Chipmunks everywhere. You know, you have all kinds of really neat wildlife. At Grandma's house, Grandma's got wildlife too. She's got rabbits and mice. And if you look behind me, I don't know if you can see it, there's the neighbor's cows. That's pretty good wildlife in nature too. So, and sometimes it stinks a little too much. My opinion, but that's okay. Um, some other amenities. Fond du Lac, they have wireless internet. So we can go camping and we can go on the computer. And they have bicycle rentals, which is a plus. That really is a plus. Point Beach, they're open year round, which is great if you like fishing or, you know, if uh, ice fishing or anything else, if you like cross country skiing. Um, they have electricity so you can stay warm. Um, they have 2,900 acres of land. That's huge. We talked a lot about that last time too. Hunting. Pets are allowed on the beaches. There's certain beaches, not all beaches, but certain beaches at Point Beach. And that's just a plus, you know. Who wants to leave their pet in the camper or in the car while, you know, the rest of the family's gone, you know, having fun. And they have three playgrounds. Now, at Grandma's house, we have wireless internet, so that's good. And you have two acres, two beautiful acres, and great landscaping. You have rabbit hunting. So if you ever need somewhere to go rabbit hunting, just let us know. And you have my mother-in-law's delicious cooking. I hope my nose is not getting too brown there. Um, as I said, I think I've really proved why Point Beach is an excellent money uh, savings. You know, when it comes to a bargain for camping, it is an excellent savings. You have the beach. You have everything else. Again, it's only $40 for a tent site. You can bring this and you're good to go, you know, um, it, whereas like Fond du Lac is 65 for a tent site and it's commercial, you don't get the natural feeling and it's, you know, you got kids running everywhere and adults everywhere, so, um, you know, if you, if you enjoy camping, if you truly enjoy camping, Point Beach is the place to go. So the next time you're looking for a camping vacation, check out Point Beach State Park. The price is right for some opportunities for great fun. And I hope you get there soon. Thank you. Thank you.